Hey guys, okay, so, um, recently I got a, a request for a drawing from <clears throat> someone close to me, um, to draw their cabin, um, and so this is just, here, here's the cabin, um, so I kind of started out by just sketching an outline, um, all of my my art is all self-taught, um, and I haven't really taken any classes or anything. I'm no professional, but it is something that I like to do and that I have found that I tend to be good at. So, anyway, you can see that I kind of start to, um, draw, sketch a little outline, um, so... This part, I kind of, I started to do it. It's all freehand too, I don't, I don't trace anything or actually measure anything. I just do it. Um, so I kept having to erase this because I kept kind of wrongly estimating where things would be, but um, it eventually came together, so.
right, so by now you can see that I have added some more detail. I definitely wanted this to be as close to the real thing as I could have it be, at least the cabin itself, the background. I ended up deciding should be a little bit less detailed because I really wanted the cabin to be the thing that popped out. Um, so I took the pencil and I drew some darker lines. I started counting every piece of wood that was on this cabin that I could see, paying attention to all the angles and stuff, the distance between each thing. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's about where I got to. Um, I will say it took a long time to try to count everything and make sure that it was on the dot. Um, yeah.
around here is where I picked up a sharpie and what I like to do with a lot of drawings I like to look at a photo and um, I like to draw the general shapes and everything start getting details down and then I like to um, outline it with sharpie um, something I do with like most of my drawings a lot of them I leave black and white but this one um, I ended up wanting to be color uh, so I used a thin tip sharpie for a lot of little details and then I also used a thick thicker tip sharpie for the general outline of the building so that it would kind of pop off the page a little bit more it would just stand out a little bit more uh, I definitely did a lot of the things in the background and in the foreground around the building I did with the thin tip sharpie it made it a little bit more so that you know this building it just looks sturdy in the middle of this place sometimes it's harder to describe exactly how I do things um, because I've always kind of just done it I just look at it and it makes sense to me and it fits for me um, yeah so outline with a sharpie So as you can see, I also tend to use the Sharpie to fill in a few of the darkest shadows of the entire thing because I can go over them with pencil later and it looks a little bit more gradient. It, there's different textures there, but um, the dark black marker, it's just going to look so much more dark than a colored pencil or anything else. So I like to fill in shadows like that. I like to do a lot of the dark spots and then start out darker and do the lighter shades later on top of those um i don't know why it just it's what works for me
here's an interesting part because I wasn't there's a spot of light um coming from behind the cabin I think it was like I don't know if it was the sun or if it was a light on the cabin um it's kind of hard to tell but I was trying to figure out how to do it and it was really weird because all of a sudden I went oh wait um for my birthday or Christmas or something I forget which uh, my brother got me a bunch of paint pens but I have never used paint pens in my entire life so I kind of I tried to draw the light where it was um oh yeah there's my soup I got a little hungry uh by the way this entire thing took about four hours this is definitely sped up anyways so I couldn't figure out how to do the light I kind of just did it with some white orange and yellow pencil and then later on I wasn't really that happy with it and so I was like okay let's try the paint pen and I was like okay please please god I don't I don't want this to be messed up so I kind of experimented with it a little bit put a big dab of paint pen on there spread it around did some stuff I don't know exactly how it worked but it did and um a lot of the pencil didn't really go on top of the paint pen very well at least where it was dried but you could also see some of the color underneath as well so it actually worked out pretty well for the light right there um anyways i started doing some of the colors i um i used another piece of paper i think the one maybe behind this one to try out the shades that i had of the pencils and see how close it was to the actual thing and then I just started coloring
Okay, so towards the end of this here, I didn't actually get the last parts on video because um, this was for a gift, actually, uh, for Christmas, which was a while back. But I um, didn't quite have it done. I had the last little bit left to do, but I was supposed to give the person the drawing by the end of that day, so, um, my dad was driving us down the car, I went down with my family to visit my grandparents, um, and to give the person the gift, and so I kind of did the rest of the drawing in the car, so you can see, here's the original, and here's about how it turned out, um, I was happy with it, uh, of course, I can see some flaws, it was my own art, but yeah, it was fun. Thanks for watching.